<laughs> Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are continuing our Heartstopper journey. We are going to be watching episodes three and episode four. So the first two episodes were um, <laughs> fantastic. Fantastic. Um, second episode was a bit depressing. So I'm hoping we're going to get more light vibes, more fun vibes. I can't be dealing with the sadness, okay? I want fun, happy times. If you want to watch this full season and last season and other seasons and movies all unedited in full, you can join my Patreon down below. Click the link. It's a good time. You'll have fun. But let's just get on with the video. You're here for Heartstopper, so let's get on with Heartstopper. What are we promising, guys? This episode's called Promise. What, what are we promising? Promises are hard to keep. Promises are easy to break. Ultimate L date. A theme park. But you hate roller coasters. Oh, what if? I love roller coasters. Shop and like choose a book for each other and I'll do a little reading day. Isaac, that's. <laughs> that's what Isaac wants as a date. That's Isaac's perfect date. It's your dream date. Yeah. Not ours. Literally. I've been grounded and he's got exams, so I've barely seen him outside of school. Damn! Damn the parents! Um, let me tell you, some of you in the comments of my YouTube video were like, you're too harsh on the parents. To that I say, no! I am the child of parents. I know what's right. <laughs> also, if you don't know, this is Pancake. Say hi. <laughs> if this date doesn't work out, then I lose my best friend in the whole world. I don't think you will, but I understand the stress. Yeah, we're sorry about what happened at the cinema. We should have spoken up. I know you and Charlie are really good mates. <laughs> Just best friends. Just really good buddies, okay? Yeah. We're gal pals. Bestie Westies. That's what me and Charlie are. Oh, okay. So these are good rugby boys. Okay, we like this. We like this. So they're not friends with Charlie anymore. Because who wants to be friends with Charlie? Ben. Okay, that's who. <laughs> that is not correct. Still couldn't come out to any of them. Oh. It's fine, there's no deadline. Honestly, you should never put pressure on yourself coming out. It's that societal pressure. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what was I saying? <laughs> well, uh, your teacher knows now at least. She's like, right? Isn't she gay? Yes. Come sit down, Nick. <laughs> What's she gonna, she can't tell him off. Can she? I don't want to make any assumptions, but I assume this has something to do with it. Potentially. If any of the lads say anything out of line, you tell me immediately, all right? Do you know what? All these teachers, man. I know, like, your t all, most teachers would be very, you know, apologetic, sympathetic, very kind to LGBT folk, but, like, just seeing it is so nice, you know? Because my teachers didn't know, and I would have loved them to, like, be there for me when no one else was. <laughs> Nobody asked. Lots of lesbians in women's rush. She's a lesbian! Hey, right? She's a lesbian! What like, telling all my friends. None of the guys know about me, so... Um... Well, you don't owe them that information. Exactly! That's it. That's what I was trying to say earlier on before she barged in. <laughs> Is that you don't owe anyone anything. If you're not wanting to come out or you're not ready or it doesn't feel right, it doesn't matter. You don't owe a single person a single thing. Maybe keep the kissing outside of team practice. See, she loves it. She's she thinks it's cute, but you do have to have like a sense of like we're in school, guys. Now, for this, <laughs> it's more fun. I'm not saying nothing. I'm not saying nothing, but. It would be cute. It would be very nice. It would be very nice if, you know, you know what I'm saying. What on earth are you insinuating? Party tonight! Ever bring your drinks, yeah? <laughs> the way like, the way like I'm in such a good mood, Harry walks on screen and I'm like, right. Right. <laughs> I love you because of how annoying you are. Oh, those are my girls. Mean, I love you. I didn't mean that in an I love you way, but. Hey, stop! I think Robin. Bitch, don't be awkward about that. I love you. Oh my god. Lesbians love to go fast, <laughs> but they've been together for ages, so they're not going fast. They're like the slowest lesbians in existence. 
Are you also having regrets about signing up for this? Uh, it'll be a laugh, won't it? <laughs> Mr. Farouk's coming on the Paris trip. Hell yeah. I don't know. There's, he scares me, but I love him. Mr. Farouk. This is it. He's my man. Hey, Isaac. Oh, hi, James. Um, did you want to come to that end of exams party tonight? <gasps> and all your friends should come too, obviously. <laughs> James, we like James in this household. This is a this is a good guy. James, James and Isaac. <laughs> Relax, it's not happened yet, but the seeds are being sown. Quiet. <laughs> He's like a prison guard. Oh, and they just left Imogen. Oh, Imogen. Imogen needs to leave Ben. Oh, my girl! I don't like her standing there on her own. Oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. Come back over to our friendship group. Come back over with the girls, the gays, and the theys, girl. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta leave. I gotta leave. I gotta leave. Isaac is me. That is the... Oh, bitch. Oh. Oh. I didn't think it was going to happen this quick. I thought it was going to take the whole... Easy, bitch. Oh, f okay. Relax. <laughs> I keep telling myself to relax. This show gets me in some in a way that I don't. I've never been. I like you, romantically. <laughs> and I was wondering if you wanted to go on a date. Okay. <laughs> Do you know what? Let me tell you. F episode two, episode three is where it's at. This is good vibes. Oh my gosh, guys. I don't know the sound of your heart. It's illegal, is it? Bitch. Bitch. Tori's with us! <laughs> Guys! They're, they've put crack in this episode. They've put crack in this episode. This is a fucking great episode. I'm buzzing. The only stress is my lesbians. Okay, my, I'm a bit stressed about my lesbians, but this is it. I'm fine. Just a uh, headache. Nick needs to stop putting pressure on himself. Nah, no, the sound of your heart. Those are the biggest popcorns I've ever seen. I hope you didn't cut it for me. <laughs> well, maybe. Sorta, of, kinda. Sorta, of, kinda. My mum can pick you up. It's really not a problem. Text you later. Oh my god, trouble in lesbian paradise, guys. Literally nothing embarrasses her. Except the words, I love you, apparently. <laughs> Do you know what? Ballsy. Ballsy from Tao. Good, good on ya. <laughs> oh my god. The mood literally drops every time Harry comes in. It's like, get off of us. He's such a wee pest. If we're going on a date, we should do something we both enjoy. True. That is true. <laughs> it's so awkward. It's so awkward. I don't understand what I did wrong tonight. It's like you were trying to be a completely different person. Well, I guess romance does ruin friendship. <laughs> no! <laughs> What's happening? They go on one awkward date and it's suddenly like, Flipping tables. No, guys, this isn't it. Let me tell you, Tao is someone who wears his heart on his sleeve, right? His emotions guide his judgment. And then he'll like, once once the dust is settled, he'll go, probably should have handled that better. <laughs> guys, this episode, I said it was on crack. No, bitch, we're on the come down now. <laughs> we're on the come down. This isn't good. You don't look well. Nick's putting way too much pressure on himself with his brother being an arsehole, with the coming out situation. It's not good. Nick, relax. Relax. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Girl, be calm. No. You're bisexual, so you're gonna cheat on my brother. <laughs> oh no. Share with the group. Oh, I'm ready to fing knock a tooth out of Harry's mouth. <laughs> I shouldn't want to fight a 16 year old, but I'm ready to fight a 16 year old. This is, why are we putting pressure on ourselves? Nick doesn't want to talk to you, Harry. Piss off. Period. 
Good on Charlie. Imogen knows she's with the wrong side. This is too much. See, right, right, guys, guys, this is what we're doing wrong. Coming out in front of the bonfire with everyone screaming and Harry up your fucking arsehole. Like, that is not the right time to come out. Guys, I need Imogen to leave Ben. I need it to happen this episode or next episode. It better bloody happen. Nick's so lucky to have you, Charlie. Ah! That's so cute. I love accepting parents. It's so cute. Nick's so lucky to have you, Charlie. It's such a nice thing to say. I guess part of me just wants everyone to know you're my boyfriend. That's the difficult thing. You've got to kind of um, separate your feelings and what you want because at the end of the day, it's Nick's life, you know? You want people to see that he's your boyfriend. That's fine, but you can't dictate that until Nick is comfortable to come out. Which I think Charlie sees. He understands. He understands that... His feelings are valid, but they're not top priority in the list of things in regards to Nick coming out. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I think I think Nick's putting way too much pressure on himself. He's he's putting too much pressure on himself. It's making him ill, and it's not it's not worth it. You're right, you want everyone to know that you're boyfriends, but who, who, why do you care about that? Why do you care that everybody knows? Like, of course you want to just be going around doing your own thing and not having to hide it. I understand that, but like, like your friends know, your parents know, your family knows, like, that's all that really matters. Like, you don't need like, you don't need wee Billy from like, the fourth class down the corridor to know that you're boyfriend, you know? I'm pretty sure wee Billy does not need to know that. <laughs> A more fun and exciting episode. Um, some still some sadness in it, and I'm just waiting for Imogen to realise she's on the wrong side of the fence. Okay, Imogen needs to come over here because Ben and all that, it ain't it. It ain't it. Challenge on the school trip to Paris. We're going to Paris. Here we go. Here we go. This is the Paris episode. I bet you can't last two days without kissing me. That a challenge? Challenge! That's the challenge! And um, what I was going to say was, I think they'll be Loki in the Paris trip, he'll realise he hates it, and then he'll want to come out. Is that, I think that, that's my prediction. Is Imogen on this bus? Me scanning the bus for Imogen, I'm like, where is she? <laughs> Tao! <laughs> Tao is so funny. Tao's like, here we go again. Yay! I need her to throw him off the off. Quiet! He scares me, but yeah. My nipples are hard. <laughs> My nipples are erect. Always wanted to be around him. But also anytime he was there, I felt like I couldn't breathe. Oh, this is so cute. I love Isaac's cap as well. Je veux bien ton plan avoir de réseau là. On est dans le rue tunnel. Nick. What the hell was that? Yeah. My dad. Your dad's French? Yeah. I don't really see him that often. Oh. <laughs> unexpected. Yeah, very unexpected. Look at them. Get to know one another. Bitch. I did not know that about Nick. Well, there you go. Are we under the water? Yeah. Then why can't we see any fish? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Farouk's like, Mr. Farouk's regretting every decision he's ever made. Oh, come on, French song. Hey. Let me tell you, French pop music is insane. Like, it's so good. Girl, Imogen, my girl! Imogen, she's realising. She's realising. I need Imogen to bam, roundhouse punch, uppercut, break his nose, Imogen. <laughs> Get rid of Ben. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Sorry. It'd be awkward, like, teachers sharing a room and stuff together, wouldn't it? Oh, I... <laughs> like this. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. <gasps> Just the pont. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
They're so stupid, the both of them. They're so stupid. Why are you so stupid? Did you get one of those padlocks and write your initials on it? You're joking. It's so lame. Ben? Ben? He has a lot of issues that he needs to deal with and he's taken out on my girl Imogen. Oh, Ben's, I think Ben's worse than Harry now. I think Ben's worse than Harry. My girl Imogen does not deserve this. I need a drink. <laughs> me too, An alcoholic girl. alcoholic drink. Yeah, me too. We probably shouldn't drink alcohol. I need a croissant then. A croissant? You mean a croissant? What's Bitch, look at this cute ass group. We've had, we've got extras in here. Is it Zahar? Is that her name? And we've got James. Where's my girl Imogen? We need Imogen. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need Imogen as a tenth. We gotta have even numbers, girls. Where's my girl Imogen and her cute little beret? Where is she? Up to mischief, I bet. This is so cute. I love this. It's nice that we get a chance to hang out outside the library for once. Yeah, it's nice. Just uh, guys. You guys have such a cool friendship group. Yeah. Yeah, we are, bitch. We're a great friendship group. He looks like Nick is so in love with you. It's a bit unbearable to watch sometimes. Right, before we continue, I, do you know what I love about this friendship group is that they all mingle. It's like the fact that they can all go off, like, and just be chatty with each other. I love it. I love it. It's not like it's just stuck to like, you know, Tara, Darcy and Elle, and then Tao, Isaac and Charlie. Like they're all mixing. I love it. I said I love you to her last week. She didn't say it back. I'm sure she does want to. She definitely does. She just doesn't. And Paris is the perfect place. She doesn't know how to. It's oh scary. I'm still full from breakfast. Sorry, you didn't eat that much breakfast. Yeah, I did. That was interesting. Elle's style is so good. Like, Elle has great fashion sense. Our friendship is really important to me. Me too. Thanks. I like want them to be together, but then I don't want them to ruin the friendship either. But I think they'll be together. <laughs> I think they'll be together by the end of the season. I'm not worried. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, let all the inhibitions go and just go for it. Oh, we could do some shopping. Sorry. We need to go back. Hold on. How is Ben sitting there with a gorgeous girl like that? Look at her little outfit. And he's sitting there being a little Moody McMooderson just because he's in the closet and he can't accept himself and be happy within himself. And he's got to tear Imogen down. A strong woman down. A strong, fashionable woman. <laughs> Look at that fucking outfit. That is gorgeous. That two piece. Ben, you're fumbling the bag. Out. You're out. I don't want you here. Get off. What? Period. Thank God. What the f Ben's just doing it to make Nick jealous and it's not going to make Nick jealous. It's just going to make Nick angry at you and want to protect Imogen. Do you guys mind if I hang with you for a bit? Yes! Just Ben's being so boring. Of course not. Sure. Yeah, it's all free. Yes! Yeah. 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 Thanks, guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, bitch. Did I not say that Imogen would leave uh, Ben the next episode? That's what I wanted. Oh, I'm in a happy mood now, guys. I'm in a happy... I'm in a happy mood. Oh, thank God, Imogen. I think being honest is better than living with regret. Slay! <laughs> Imogen. <laughs> That's my girl, Imogen. She's coming out with the hard-hitting questions, the hard-hitting truths. I think being honest is better than living with regret. Now, Nick's going to be like, well, I have to come out because Imogen's just put it plainly. And <laughs> the way Imogen said that, she walked off like, she was like, I'm that girl. Oh my God, our, I've just realized our friendship group is complete. We've now got 10. Guys, we've now got the 10 that I wanted. We're even numbers. It's good out here. Oh. Do you know what? There is part of me that wants Ben to have a redemption because I don't like hating on people, right? I would love Ben to be like, look, I'm actually really sorry. I'm struggling with coming to terms with my sexuality. Like, I just want him to actually realize he's being a prick and it's all internal. It's internalized homophobia. It's crazy. And I would just love, I would love Ben to like actually do a full 180 and be a nice person. And we can like work on like, you know, finding the middle ground and coming to terms with how his past actions were wrong and how he can work to be better. Like that's what I would like. But I have a feeling Ben's just gonna be on a downward spiral and gonna be self-destructive. 
What's going on with Charlie and food? Is he... I haven't spoken to you properly in ages. Oh, God. Hold on. Has Charlie got an eating disorder or something? Um, Because he's... He's... Not working well with food right now. How was your first day in Paris? I'm not interested in how my day was then. Oh. Why are you in a mood with me? Because you're supposed to be my boyfriend. But instead, you've got some sort of obsession with Charlie. I gotta go! I have to leave! Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, bitch. The whole room went quiet. I'm so nervous, guys. Oh no. Everyone's like, what's the tea, girl? What's the tea? What's happening over at table two? I don't know why you're obsessed with Charlie. All I know is you're a terrible boyfriend and I deserve better. Period. I'm breaking up with you. <gasps> I think it's time I focus on myself. <laughs> If you don't want to be with me anymore, that's fine. You don't have to be such a bitch about it. There's no need to call her a bitch. Oh, you know we're in the trenches when fucking Harry's being the reasonable one here. Oh my God, I have to fucking go. You're joking. You're taking the piss? Sorry, what? <laughs> oh my God. Guys, that was so, do you know what? I'm just gonna say, I'm proud of our girl Imogen. Oh my God. Do you know what? I'm loving that lots of these little side characters from season one are getting like bigger roles this season. It makes me so happy. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have done that in front of everyone. No, I'm glad you did. I think it was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Me too. So. Ugh, everything would be so much easier if I was into girls. <laughs> Why is she such a... Ah! Ah! She's... <laughs> she says all the wrong things, right? But her heart's in the right place. She's such a straight girl. It makes me laugh. It would not be easier. But you know what? I get the sentiment. I'm not so sure about that, but... Um, yeah. <laughs> I know what you mean. Could I maybe have a hug? Yeah, you can. I want a hug from Nick Nelson. Oh, guys, I'm feeling on top of the world, guys. My girl, Imogen. But the Harry backing us up, we have the same opinion as Harry. It, oh, what world are we living in? Oh, bitch. Are we? This seems a bit more. It tastes like toothpaste. Sensual. Bitch, this is. Mama, this is hanky panky. This is what your father warned you about. Nick was going to town on that neck. <laughs> He's a vampire, bitch. I feel like Charlie's developing an eating disorder, guys. Like this whole talk of food and, and stuff. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> Okay, guys. Nah. <laughs> um. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so there we go. We're still on the Paris trip by the end of this episode. So I'm hoping that the Paris trip's continuing into the next couple of episodes. I'm enjoying the little time away. It's fun. It's a different vibe from the school vibes. But yeah, so I'll, I keep, I keep like giving El and Tao a like ship name. I go Al or Tell. And El and Tao are finally like reconnected. They're friends again, but I don't know how long that's gonna last. I think they're just gonna be lovers. The lesbians are going through it as per usual. Isaac's got Isaac's got himself a little a little man. And I'm excited for that. I'm excited for that to see how that develops. There's been a few bits of food related things with Charlie this episode, which leads me to believe that maybe he's gonna have an eating disorder or something. Maybe that's what they're gonna be exploring which i think is going to be quite difficult i think it's going to be quite difficult to um to watch to go through so we'll see how that progresses we'll see how that develops um i'm so glad imogen stood up to ben guys that's all i wanted that's all i could have asked for it makes me so happy that imogen has stood up to ben and then when ben called her a bitch and then charlie stepped in it's crazy out here it's wild out here but yeah what an episode. That was so much fun. My girl Imogen is back in the group. I hope she's back in the group. Well, she will be because she's not got Ben to hang around with. So she's back in the group. 
So yeah, what a good episode. What a good two episodes. That was so much fun. If you want to watch the full unedited reaction, watch them on my Patreon. You'll have fun. It'll be a good time. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. It's going to be a good time watching this show. Peace. <laughs> this is fun.